Hi, I'm Raul. Welcome to OpenLP Guru, a set of video tutorials where I take you through how to use OpenLP's features. In today's episode, we'll be going through starting OpenLP for the first time, downloading some of the freely available resources, and adding a song to a service. As you've probably noticed by now, I have a dark color scheme. I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about it, so I want to set the record straight before I continue. This is not a color scheme or a theme set by OpenLP. This is my operating system's theme. I use KDE Plasma 5 on Debian Linux, and I have it configured to use the Breeze Dark theme. This is not available for Windows or Mac OS. If you really want it, you'll just have to install Linux. Right, let's get started. When you run OpenLP for the first time, OpenLP will automatically detect that this is the first time you're running it and start the first time wizard. OpenLP comes with a number of translations built in and this first dialog asks you which language you'd like to use. Auto detect is initially selected, which means that OpenLP will ask your operating system which language it is using and will select that translation. If OpenLP is unable to detect your language or doesn't have a translation available in your language, it will default to English. My language is English anyway, so let's go ahead and keep Auto Detect selected. Now you'll see the welcome screen of the first time wizard. Click the next button to continue. OpenLP needs to download an index to find out what resources are available. This usually takes a few seconds on a fast internet connection, but if you're on a slower connection, it could take up to a minute. Next, you're asked to select which plugins to activate. You can think of a plugin as a group of features. By default, allow remote access is disabled due to its triggering a firewall warning on Windows. There's nothing wrong with this, it's just that due to Windows being plagued with malware, it errs on the side of caution. Without remote access activated, you'll not be able to use the remotes, so I'm going to enable it and click Next to continue. Thanks to some kind contributors, we are able to offer some free and public domain songs in a few languages. This helps to jumpstart your song database. I'm going to select English and then click Next to continue. On the next screen, you can select from a wide range of Bible translations, which are either public domain or have been graciously permitted for redistribution by OpenLP. I'm going to select the American Standard Version and the King James Version. OpenLP uses themes for controlling how your songs are displayed. Here are some themes that we have put together. I'm going to select all of them. Lastly, you can set some basic settings, like which screen you want to display your songs on and which theme you want as the default theme. Clicking Next here starts the download process. Click Finish to start OpenLP. When OpenLP starts up, it will import the songs that you've downloaded into your songs library. Once that's done, we're ready to go. What you see in front of you is the main window. OpenLP has a left to right workflow where you'll add, edit and select your resources in the library on the left and then move them to the service manager on the right where you'll present them from. With OpenLP's default configuration, if you double click on a song, you'll see a preview of it in the preview slide controller. To add a song to the service, Click and drag the song from the library into the service manager. If you double click on the song in the service manager, you'll see the song displayed on your projector and in the live slide controller. Clicking on a slide in the controller will show that slide on the projector. That's all for now folks, thanks for watching. In the next episode we'll explore adding and editing songs. Goodbye and God bless.